Hello everyone and thanks for watching. This is your five minute edge on how to serve the whole child and whole family. This video was made possible through a partnership between the Wisconsin After School Network and the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families. I'm Jenny Meldy, Director of Community Outreach with the La Crosse Area Family YMCA. I am very excited to talk to you today about food insecurity and why it matters to youth serving organizations. You may be asking, what exactly is food insecurity? Food insecurity is the limited or uncertain availability of nutritional and safe foods, or a limited or uncertain ability to obtain adequate foods in socially acceptable ways. On the other hand, food security for a household means that all members of the household have access at all times to enough nutritious food for an active, healthy lifestyle. Another important factor that is not often considered in official statistics but plays a significant role in food security is whether or not a person is able to access food that is reflective of their culture, values, beliefs, and identities. Receiving a bag of canned food that might fill your belly is not the same as being able to prepare and savor food that aligns with your traditions and reflects who you are as a person and family. It's also helpful to consider how food security is measured. The food security status of each household lies somewhere along a continuum, ranging from high food security to very low food security. High food security means that a household had no problems or anxiety about consistently accessing adequate food. Marginal food security means that a household had problems at times or anxiety about accessing adequate food but the quality, variety, and quantity of their food intake was not substantially reduced. Low food security means that a household has reduced quality, variety, and desirability of their diets, but the quantity of food intake and normal eating patterns are not significantly disrupted. Finally, very low food security means that at times during the year, the eating patterns of one or more household members were disrupted and food intake was reduced because the household lacked the money or other resources to obtain food. To determine where the kids and families you work with fall on this continuum, we can ask a series of questions about behaviors and experiences associated with difficulty in meeting food needs. We can assess whether a family has been worried in the last year or is currently worried if their food will run out before they have more money. We can also ask if families are able to afford to eat balanced foods with items from different food groups. If needed, we can even ask if one or more members of the family had to go an entire day or more without eating. As you are well aware, missing a small snack can impact a child's focus or ability to follow directions. How might they show up if they and their families have been skipping meals regularly? The point here is that food insecurity is a preventable issue, and with proper screening and outreach, you can help households struggling with food insecurity. So when you think about what your program can do, first, be willing to ask questions. Gauging how severe the need is will help determine what resources are necessary. Second, help connect families to resources by either bringing resources in-house or by having phone numbers and external contacts handy. Don't be afraid to help families make the first call or to help them find a ride if that's necessary. In this case, information is knowledge and knowledge of the need and resources gives you power to make a difference.